from, for instance, if I'm um, Davon right now, I want to open a site about Taiwanese uh, tourist information so I don't get lost again. And uh, you can, I can browse a bit around in this site, and if I go home, it lands in the bottom of the screen here. And this is where all your new sites are. You can just have them around for a little while, but if you want to keep them longer, for instance, if I like it so much here that I'm uh, going to work in a Taiwanese office, the Fopra, then I'll just then I'll just drag it in here, and uh, it's there. It's just pure visual experience. I mean, the only thing you have to do is use your hands. <coughs> There's a third function that you can access by tapping on the button in the right corner. With this, this button in the right corner, you can get quick access to the sites that you just recently browsed. So here are the two sites that I visited, and some sites that I visited here on this iPad before. And this allows you to quickly switch and uh, multitask on iPad. Um, and this is, a, this is a much better workflow. And this workflow is similar to what you will see on a mobile phone. You know, Android OS or iOS, we can quickly switch between different applications. So basically what we did is that we, we really made a new browser. It doesn't look like anything, any browser at all that has ever been made. But we lean on this concept, like speed dial, recent applications, that people are familiar with, with, uh, with uh, for mobile phones. So people quickly find their way around when they get first introduced to code. 